Hello everybody, welcome back to my fourth Alaska video. This one covers my last day in Seward and I had a chance to see the amazing landscapes from above with Marathon helicopters in one of their rides. take too long after leaving Seward to reach our destination, the Godwin Glacier, where we would also get off the helicopter for around 20 minutes in total to explore a little bit by foot. So we were flying around uh, eight or nine minutes, I think, and now we just landed right in front of one of the glaciers here. I think it's all part of Goodwin Glacier. Our pilot Mike, he's been uh, flying around here for nearly 10 years. And all of this will used to be covered in, in ice pretty much. Get any crampons because we're only going to stay here like for 15 minutes now. And then we're going to head back again. You can see a little ice cave there. of ice just hanging down there. I'm here with Benito and Paul. Hello. Hey, hey. Uh, oh, yeah. They're volunteers at the uh, Norder. Uh, Norder. Norde <laughs> Norde <Otter. Norde> <laughs> I was supposed to stay there for one night. I ended up staying four nights. I think so. Yeah. yeah. So that tells you how nice these guys are. And we're going to have one last night together in the mountains. We're going to go to Lost Lake. And I checked the Aurora forecast. It's a three out of nine. It's supposed to be cloud free from midnight to 1 a.m. Small window, but. We hope. Fingers crossed. We could see the Norder lights tonight, guys. <laughs> All right, you ready? Let's do sure. it. Vamos. As you can see, we're completely walking in the dark. You can't see me now. The plan is to get to the lake. It's about seven kilometers from here now. And hope for some clear weather so we can see the shinodal nets. It's gonna be a long shot. Uh, we were lucky. The first part of the hike was actually very spooky and I could not capture it on video because it was very thick clouds and mist surrounding us and we couldn't really see more than two meters. It then finally cleared up and the mountains around us were presenting itself in a 
dark silhouette, which was a really cool moment. Um, we then decided to set up our tents at the highest point of the Lost Lake Trail, drink a little bit of our fireball rum to get warm, and then waking up to the most amazing sunrise on my Alaska trip. It was actually the first time that I could see the sunrise, because usually it was always hidden behind the mountains, but, but not on this day. We overslept 6.30 in the morning. We wanted to wake up at 5.15. We have some time to do some fishing. And now we could finally see where we are pretty much. And the sun is rising. See the first sunrise in Alaska here. Amazing. up now and we're heading down to Lost Lake. Yeah, a little bit in a rush now because the boys have to go back to work <laughs> and it's like a three hour hike without any breaks. is coming out of the mist finally, or from the haze. It's a bit hazy this morning, I'm having a speaker with music for the bears. <laughs> Haven't seen a grizzly yet, only two days left in Alaska. We made it back, really nice hike guys. They have to go back to work now and I will uh, hitchhike to Cooper Landing and do another hike. <laughs> Thanks sir. We made it. That was great, man. Good to meet you. I got a lift here, and he's a, a local guy who spent his whole life in the wilderness of Alaska. And yeah, he had a lot of bear encounters, and he told me that you should actually not use the bear spray because it will just piss them off. And if they really want to get you and they're hungry, they will do it despite getting sprayed on. He said the only really thing that you should do is get your pack. Your frame pack on top of your head, make yourself look very big. Put some like, brush in your hand and then just make a lot of noise and scare him away with that. Yeah, and if that doesn't work and he's hungry, then sadly you know, we're in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Anyway, he dropped me in Cooper Landing. And I have a couch surfer here. There's only one couch surfer in Cooper Landing. He knows me. I'm just going to go to his house now. He will be home in four hours, but he left the door open, so I can take a shower. <laughs> And then I'm going to do a hike to Slaughter's Ridge here. I'm not, it's on the other side. But I definitely have to get some food first. <laughs> you made it to the end of the video. That's awesome. Thank you so much. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button as well. Leave me some feedback in the comments. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. A special shout out to my Patreon supporters as well. If you would like to find out how you can support me and receive monthly benefits such as receiving postcards from me or me being your own personal trip owner, then check out the link below.